Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. This is Azan Arrest Auto. Today we are going to make a spare key for a 2012 Skoda Fibia. Currently, the person has the customer have a key. Uh, there's no remote. So I intend making a key. A spare key and also configure the remote to work. Today we'll be using the Altair 508. It's actually Skoda. Was using Volkswagen because Volkswagen is a parent company, so instead of using Skoda, I was using Volkswagen. Maybe that was why I couldn't, the author couldn't decode it. So we are reading the vein. I made to program uh, a spec key for this car. This is the spec key I want to program for the car so we decode it as you can see it's not working at this Fibia 07 this car is 2011 so let us do more status scan Okay, uh, the emo system, uh, number of keys, two, current key, the lucky, uh, let us add key. Um, okay, personal fault, let us add key. Is the vehicle equipped with smart key? No, it's a blade key. So, with the immobilizer, immo data. That is the working key, the one that the customer has. So I meant to make a spare to add one key. The key that came with it does not have a remote. Let me we have the the button, the remote button here uh, for the central locking system. Skoda. So now I want to make dealer key. Yeah, I want to make a dealer key. So connect it to the programmer. The programmer is connected. I place a blank key. A blank key is already there in the programmer. So as you can see, it's reading. Trying to make a blank key for the programmer. Communicating with the key. Almost done with the lock key. The lock key generated successfully. You want to generate on that one? No, this is the lock key you have to add to the system. How many key want to learn just one? So he's learning the key to the vehicle within 30 seconds. 
Okay. Then it came. Press any button. They give me the option to actually check if the remote the, it was rather fast for the pro, the remote section of this uh something so uh, you can see the remote part is in responding okay we will check the killing in aspect of it let's scan again and see how many cases in the system Initially, there were two keys, so I expect the system to have three keys now. If it has actually recognized this one. Okay, remote control system not available. Number of keys length one. Obviously, only this one can still start the car. Uh, this one did not start the car. So we only have one killer. So what could be the problem? So. Um, So I want to find out uh, the transponder here. When I checked last time, it was 48, but I don't know. So I have to use my mini K2 to confirm. You can see it's a 48 chip. Um, you really not key. So it's a 48 chip. So I want to confirm the type of 48 chip that is in, in here. And I have to do it using my phone. So I may not be able to record that part of this uh, process. Okay, um, what happened was that um, in uh, this particular model, you know, initially I programmed it and uh, it did start the car. I think the, 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 the error was, the mistake I made was that 
uh, I pick one key. So he actually programmed this, the original, the owner's key, and he didn't program this. And in both cases, you will actually need to insert the key in the ignition to have it programmed. So this one could start the car, and then this one could not start the car. But for the sake of um, learning for the learning process, I will draw the procedure so that you can actually see that is working. Um, okay, this was earlier on, so let's take that out. So I will leave this process. I will go through the control model, immobilizer, automatic detection of the key system and I'll just go to key learning. Is he equipped with smart key knows? Of course his blade key no establishing communication. Okay. Number of keys, CS code. Well what I did, first of all, I read the emo data. I read the emo data first. So the system will have the emo data in. So here you have the pin code and the CS code, take a snapshot, I have it, then um, we go to kill any now, say so no, establish communication with the vehicle, we ask for number of keys, so rather than two, one now, I make it two keys, so that one for the customer, and one for the one I'm going to add. So, establishing communication is learning. He has learned the first key. So, I'll take this out. Then I will, I'll take this out, then insert this, put it on. Now he has learned the second key, key learning completed. So I'm to turn it off and wait for five seconds. And to turn it on, you can see there's no error message there. So we are done with the kill any process. You can see. this is the customer key uh, I've already done the remote programming before so the, the remote can actually work now lock unlock so for the customers original key So for this particular car, we are done and dusted. The customer key is working. Uh, the new key that I've added with remote, they are equally working. So like, share and subscribe to Azana Res Auto for more technical information on key programming. Thank you for watching.